my advice would be go and say hello to somebody, find a barista community, join the BGE, join the BGA, you know, become part of the community and say hello because people are welcome and opening. They really are. To stay open-minded and to try everything they can. So like to calibrate the taste buds with everything, doesn't matter if wines, food, fruits, vegetable, coffee, great coffee, shitty coffee, because to appreciate excellent coffee, you always have to like neutralize. But to understand things, you also have to try bad things. But mostly I think uh, you improve most if you stay open-minded. So don't listen to the media all the time, like because there's always someone saying this is the best coffee and people are like following it blind because they don't have opinions. So it's necessary to not get lost in this and yes, <laughs> and to have own opinions to try it and then to, to build opinions. I think I would advise them to uh, network. I think the most special part about the specialty coffee scene is the community. Um, and uh, I think you can only get further in your specialization, whatever you're doing, either a barista or a roaster. Um, or a sourcer if you know what others are doing and if you learn from each other. So I think that's, that's one of the most important parts. So participate in competitions, go to events and fairs um, and meet people and get to know what they do and let them see what you do and don't be too scared to, to show what you're doing because you get that sometimes. Um, and just share knowledge because Eventually you all have the same passion and you all work with the same product. So although you're a competition sometimes, you also love the same produce, so why not celebrate that together? Find somebody. Find somebody that you can um, learn from. I, I had nobody until Square Mile turned up. It was one of the questions they asked me. Was that who's who's been your mentor? It's like nobody. I haven't got one. No idea. Um, find somebody who can you trust that you can teach that can teach you and you can find inf information from. There's lots of information out there. Um, don't get confused by it. But don't just absorb the information. You also need to practice. You also need to spend time behind the machine, working. It's a, it's a tough job. It's a hard job. You now long hours, early mornings, lots of cleaning, but we know it's fun. And open your ears, listen, absorb, and come up with some new ideas. Don't be scared to try new things, be creative, be progressive. I've done my job. London has changed. We've moved from the second wave to the third wave. It's, it's broadened in London now. But where, we need some young ones now to come through and to show people like me that my ideas are old and like in the past and we need to take the industry forward. So we've got a sustainable future for the, the people working in that industry. Learn first. So maybe manage a shop somewhere. Uh, the way I learned was uh, my boyfriend is running a really nice daily with fresh foods. And I worked there for a year and a half scrubbing floors, cleaning dishes, staffing issues, sourcing, pro food production, hygiene, finance. So really from the bottom, I think that's really, really helpful. For coffee shop, for roasting, it's not as romantic as it looks. It's very intense, labor intense, very heavy. 
carrying like bags of 60, 70 kilos. And it's very easy to make green beans brown, but really difficult to produce a fantastic roast. So you need to think about the, uh, the dimensions and the size of the operation. Thanks for watching. For more videos, subscribe our YouTube channel and visit our website.